what's good y'all so as you know we are in quarantine so i am going to be talking about my top four funniest moments in rio de janeiro let's get into it you gotta go with no one so i have so many funny moments in rio it's like what what is like the top this making this list was just funny in itself i'm gonna go into a little bit of vocabulary and things like that when i'm talking about this stuff and all that good stuff i'm gonna go and don't worry i will not leave you hanging you're gonna know what i'm talking about you're gonna know what's happening so let's get into it number four okay, now for other people i'm sure this might not be funny but for me it was funny number four so i happen to be in um the favela uh, again, if you don't know what a favela is, here it is. So this was like probably like a year ago or something like that. It wasn't this year. So I was still kind of new to the ropes. And, you know, on top of that, this favela was different from the other favelas that I've been seeing. And this is more of a flat favela. So um, I'm walking to go get my costume and I see this long line. And I'm like, oh my goodness, they must be giving out like hot soup. And I'm like, that's so nice. These folks are giving out hot soup to probably the homeless. Because like, the line looked like a bunch of homeless people. Y'all, this wasn't no line for no soup. It was a line for drugs. And I was just like, what in the fuck is going on? <laughs> it was a line of people buying drugs. And it was so funny. Because like... It's funny to me because I really thought that this was like soup kitchen situation going. I was like, wow, that's so, wow. Like, yeah, y'all, I had a dumb moment. Number three, the funniest moment. Again, it's another favela situation. So I'm walking, um, again, like I said, I'm in favelas, y'all, because my the samba schools, projeto, all those things. If you don't know what a samba school is, cool. So the school is samba, you know, most of the time they're all in favelas. Uh, so I'm walking to an event that's happening and I see like an air horn bah, 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 and people like chanting and all. I was like, wow, it is carnival time, right? So I'm like, okay, cool. I was like, they must be having a blocku. If you don't know what a blocku is, Check it out, Blocku right here. A Blocku, right? I'm like, oh, they having a Blocku. I was like, yo. I never knew that this area had Blockus, but I was like, cool. So, I was like, all right, bet they having a Blocku. I look a little closer. I look closer, and I'm just like, what is going on? I was like, I see people like head wraps, wrapping around their face, ski masks. Gun toting. I'm a gun toting pistol waving. I was like, oh, I said, this ain't a blocku. I said, I said, you know what? And I was like, I'm gonna turn right the fuck around. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna head right back to a different direction because that was scary. And I was like, it was funny because like. I really thought in my mind they was having a blocku, like it was some carnival blocku. It's carnival time, so everybody's having blockus. And I'm like, oh, they must be having a blocku, right? No, child. It was the blocku of bungees. Like, that's pretty much what it was. Number two funniest moment for me. This uh, situation happened when it was flooded. Rio was flooded. It was this crazy... Um, thunderstorm that we was having real always happens and real floods a lot uh it was in my other video which i'll tag right here about the flood so we had a really crazy flood uh the night of the champions parade and i was coming back from my champion parade with salguero and uh basically i was waiting on avenida do brazil for my bus so as I'm waiting for the bus, Avenida do, do Brasil is completely flooded. Um, you can't tell the road from a flood at this point. It's like, just stay wherever you are. So I'm standing waiting for the bus. And this guy, I don't know where he came from. This guy comes out of nowhere and he's just like drunk out his ass. 
I watch him walk and I said, I wonder where he's walking because I don't think he knows that the curb is leveled up with water because the curb is like this high, right? Because it's Avenida do Brasil, it's that high. And water is finally meeting the curb or just a little bit over the curb, just a little bit. Uh, so I guess he must have thought that was like the continuation of the street. So this dude literally just walks into the fucking flood and is like, splat! And I'm just like, Now, Brazilians have, like, really crazy reactions. Uh, everything is a reaction. They kind of remind me of Nigerians, like, where it's like, hey! You know, like, Nigeria is really loud. You're the... Ma, no. He just stopped me and, and we talked. Stop! Hey! <laughs> when this guy fell splat like this, he literally fell yeah. splat in the water. You heard it. He's like... Water's like right here. He like, I'm like, bro, get up, like stand up. But everybody went, Opa, Kara, Opa, Kara. Everybody comes running to him, and I'm just like, oh my goodness, like, I'm cracking the fuck up. I'm literally dying. Like I'm on the floor. Like I'm not on the floor, but I'm cracking up. I literally have my scarf over my face, just dying. But, you know, me being from New York, we laugh at things like that. In Brazil, everybody very cares about you. They care, like, oh, my God, you fell. Let's, oh, my goodness, ugh, let's help him, you know? I want to be more like them, I swear. I really do, but I had to laugh. That was just too funny. The number one funniest moment, it has to do with me this time. So, I... I'm a pasista. So I'm a pasista and we have ensayos. Ensayo is pretty much uh, rehearsals in English. Uh, so we have street rehearsals for a carnival. <laughs> We rehearse every once a week, um, you know, up until carnival. And this time I said, I'm going to wear a wig. I'll wear my wig. I was rushing. I think I had work or something like that. I was rushing. And I basically threw my wig on. And I was like, oh, I don't have no bobby pins. I didn't buy any. I didn't have, really have time. So I threw that wig on my head, ran out the door. I'm dancing and I'm, you know, killing it. I'm like, so I did like this spin, this jump spin, and turn, and I whip my hair. Wig off. Wig flew with it. I was like, whoosh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Wig is off. It is off. I literally hear in my brain a scream. Like a high pitched scream. And thank you for joining joining my funniest moments. So yeah, wig is off. Wig has officially flew off. And um I'm looking for it. It's not on the ground, so it's still obviously attached to like my head in the back. So you see a socking cap, everything, all that other stuff. So now here's the funniest part of it, even though the fact that that was very embarrassing for me for my wig to fly off in mid uh, performance. Um, I basically, all you hear is, again, Brazilians, Opa! Hey, Opa! Ay! Like, I'm like, bro, why all of these reactions for my fucking wig falling off? Please, stop. Stop. It's... Y'all know these street rehearsals be so, like, packed. It's, it's, literally, it's literally like a parade. So it's packed. Sides are packed. Everybody done see my wig flew off and you doing all these reactions. Hey! So, I literally run off out of the street to go uh, secure it back on. This girl's like, oh my God, it's secure? Is it Segura? And I'm like, oh my God. Sus. No, it's not secure. You know, like, it's not secure. My wig is falling off, sus. So, <laughs> I finally put it back on. 
Uh, and she was like, are you okay? I'm just, shout out to her for coming to help me out, even though I was like kind of annoyed. I was laughing because I was nervous. But shout out to her. She she really like came through. And uh, her, her boyfriend, whoever, was like, oh my God, let's take a picture. She don't fall through. And I'm like, why? Why would you want to take a picture with me if my wig fell off? Why would you want to take a picture with me? Why? I guess I was famous. But so there you go, guys. Those are top four funniest moments in Rio. Um, comment which one is your favorite or which one you thought was funny. Or comment the one you ain't think was funny. That's cool. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I will catch you later. Uh, I'm going to try to make some more videos in this quarantine uh, pandemic situation that we're in. Uh, like, share, subscribe. And make sure you hit that notifications button. I haven't been saying that, but make sure you do that so that you know that I, a video is coming. All right? Peace out, y'all. Deuces. Bye.